much for being here this morning. I'm pleased and proud to be joined by a number of incredible parts of our city community. First and foremost, our council president, Dr. Jennifer Campbell, our council president pro tem, uh, Stephen Whipper, uh, council member Campillo, one of our allies on the council. Thank you, sir, for being here. Uh, this is particularly exciting to me. San Diego's first openly LGBTQ elected official, our trailblazer herself, Senator Christine Kehoe is here. Chris. Elegantly dressed, our city commissioner, Nicole Murray Ramirez. <laughs> and we have some other longtime advocates I just want to call out. City Commissioner Ricky Brown is here. Where's Ricky? There she is. Uh, as well as Connor Maddox. Thank you both for being here. Um, I also want to acknowledge the represent representatives uh, from Supervisor Tara Lawson Reamer's office, as well as Assemblymember Chris Ward's office. I know the Assembly members in Sacramento today used to do those flights. I'm really happy to be here with you all instead today. Uh, I also, at the beginning, want to give a special shout out uh, to Eddie Ray and the Equality Business Alliance for providing us with the flag that we have today. Eddie, thank you so much. For you all to know, uh, this flag was made in Hillcrest uh, by Sean Sharp, uh, as well as Ashley Neal Tipton, uh, a San Diego native and the season 14 winner of Project Runway. Uh, I know Eddie moved heaven and earth to make sure that we could have this specific flag here today. <laughs> For those of you that know Eddie, you know that this is not uncommon. His community service knows no limits. Thank you, Eddie, for what you've done. I appreciate it. So why are we here today? I think many of you know that June is National LGBTQ Pride Month. It's a time when we come together as a community to reflect on all that we have accomplished and all the work that there's still left to do. Uh, the, groups of the group of folks standing with me today represent the progress that our community has made right here in San Diego. These are the pioneers, the trailblazers, the barrier breakers, and the glass ceiling shatterers who made it possible for myself, for the council president, the council president pro tem, to be able to stand before you today uh, uh, as elected officials of the city. And I'm proud to say the first openly LGBTQ person elected mayor of the eighth largest city in the United States. Now let me give credit where credit is due. I would not be able to stand here if it was not for the LGBTQ people who came before me. I want to acknowledge Al Best, Neil Good, Chris Kehoe, Tony Atkins, all of these trailblazers whose collective sacrifice over literally decades made it possible for so many people to serve. Um, and I also want to give special recognition uh, to Nicole Murray Ramirez, Commissioner Nicole Murray Ramirez, uh, who was one of three people who once petitioned City Hall for the Pride Permit uh, and was rejected. But if anyone knows Nicole, you don't say no to Nicole, am I right? And here he is many, many years later, many, 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 year, many years <laughs> later, to not only uh, be here uh, as a city commissioner, but to stand with openly LGBTQ elected officials, including the first gay mayor, uh, to, ri to raise this pride flag over our city hall. My, how times have changed. For, the, for years, the LGBT community, of course, has been treated differently, has been marginalized, has been forced into the closet, dismissed and disregarded. But I can speak from experience to know that we are a resilient community, uh, and we have said time and again that we want to be seen, we want to be heard, and we demand to be a part of the civic society here in San Diego. And that's why this flag raising is so important. For the first time, as we celebrate LGBT Pride Month here in the city of San Diego, we will fly the pride flag outside City Hall uh, on, on our beautiful building here. And I will point out that this is the most inclusive version of our flag, including both the trans uh, colors, uh, as well as the black and brown stripes to represent our diverse community. The strength of our LGBT community is the fact that we are diverse, we are broad. And this flag is representative of that, and that's why it's important to have it flying over our City Hall. This, this flag is also representation of our city, of our community's resilience, and it sends a clear message to all LGBTQ San Diegans that this city sees you, we hear you, we support you, and there's a place for you here in America's finest city. Uh, with that said, I'd like to turn it over uh, to my partner in governance here at the city of San Diego. Also, uh, well now she's the third openly LGBTQ city council president. That says something about San Diego, everybody. Uh, and she's doing a magnificent job. Please put your hands together for our council president, Dr. Jennifer Camp. Dr. Jen? Thank you, thank you, Mayor Gloria, my leader. 
my mayor. I'm so proud of you and you're doing such a great job. Hello everyone. It is so great to see the pride flag flying at City Hall. It's wonderful. I'm a proud member of the Stonewall generation and as you know, in 1969, the events at the Gay Stonewall Inn in New York City set off a revolution for the struggle for gay rights. Brave gay people around the country came out of their closets to fight in the streets, in the courts, in the legislatures for equal rights under the law as guaranteed to all Americans by our Constitution. We in San Diego understand that all people gay, straight, trans, of all colors and all backgrounds, deserve respect and dignity and equal treatment. We in San Diego understand that our diversity makes us strong. If one of us suffers, we all suffer, and thus we fight on for the rights of all and are proud to include the gay flag flying over our city hall. Just looking at the people gathered here today and at our city leaders, we know that San Diego recognizes the talents and abilities of all types of people, no matter your color, your religion, or who we love. Whether it's fighting prejudice against our fellow Americans, our LGBTQ community, fighting AIDS, or fighting COVID-19, we always succeed when we are united out and proud. There are no limits to what San Diego can accomplish when we all work together. Happy Pride, San Diego. And now I'd like to introduce our President Pro Tem of the City Council, my dear friend, Council Member Stephen Whipper. Well, good morning, everybody. It is so wonderful to be here all together for this ceremony this morning. We all know that there was a time when raising the pride flag at City Hall would have seemed unthinkable. There was a time when most LGBTQ San Diegans didn't feel safe being themselves. And they certainly didn't see themselves represented here in city government. Fortunately, that has changed because of elected representatives like Chris Kehoe and Tony Atkins, Todd Gloria, Chris Ward, Jennifer Campbell, because of longtime leaders like Nicole Marie Ramirez and Connor Maddox and many of you here in the crowd today, and our allies like Councilmember Campillo and others of you who are with us this morning. Today, San Diego is routinely recognized as one of our nation's most LGBTQ friendly cities. And raising the pride flag at San Diego City Hall is something that our entire community can take proud of. While there is much more work to do to fight for equality, Pride Month is a time to reflect on the progress that we have made and to celebrate all of that progress. I'm proud to represent City Council District 3 which is home to a significant portion of our region's LGBTQ population. This past year has been challenging for everybody, and the LGBTQ community has certainly seen its share of struggles. From proposed legislation around the country that seeks to strip away our rights, to the cancellation of treasured community events and the closure of LGBTQ spaces due to the pandemic, we have taken one hit after another. Well, one thing I know about San Diego's LGBTQ community is that we are strong. And we continue to band together and to support one another to ensure a better place for our community today and for all of those who will follow us. And just as importantly, we support and we celebrate diversity in all of its forms. Raising this flag today speaks to our commitment to ensure that the rights and the safety of all and to continue to fight for a better tomorrow. So this morning, I stand here as a proud member of San Diego's LGBTQ community. Thank you very much. Happy Pride Month. And now it gives me great pleasure to introduce Senator Christine Kehoe. Good morning, everybody. 
happy Pride Day, happy Pride Month, happy Pride Year. Every day is Pride Day for, for all of us. Uh, uh, first of all, I want to thank Mayor Todd Gloria for inviting me to join these distinguished guests to celebrate raising the Pride flag here at City Hall. As uh, Councilmember Whitburn just said, uh, when I was elected in 93, the uh, first uh, openly gay person to be elected in San Diego, the idea of uh, a flag, a gay pride flag, an LGBTQ pride flag in front of City Hall was truly unthinkable, as was a openly gay man of color as me. A true barrier breaker is standing right here in our midst, and I'm so proud of the work you've done. Um, I think that uh, when we think about pride, we think about uh, a sort of a mixed emotions. The many people who have gone before us that have made great sacrifices, some literally with their lives, and others with a lifetime of struggle against bias and prejudice. And we also can celebrate a tremendous achievements. Some of uh, them have been recounted here this morning. Uh, but we need to always remember to keep moving forward. And especially this year, when we are coming out of a dark year of COVID, uh, to remember the hardships all of San Diego has suffered, the economic setbacks, the losses of jobs and housing. Our city was disrupted by justified protests along with many other cities in the United States. And we need to share our quest for equality and justice with all the communities in San Diego, across California, and around our, uh, across our nation. Um, that's what makes me proud of our community. When I think of coming out of COVID, I think about our resilience, our sense of recovery, and our eagerness to embrace renewal, which we must do. Many people are still suffering, but together we can conquer not only bias and prejudice, but our, uh, improve our health and bring our economic health back to our city, all parts of the city, all neighborhoods. Um, I do want to just add that standing here in front of Mayor Todd Gloria is a special privilege for me and a special uh, feeling of pride and accomplishment. Uh, along with not imagining a, a gay pride flag in front of City Hall, I would not have thought that in a few short years, well maybe not, a couple decades actually, <laughs> we would see an openly uh, LGBTQ man of color leading our city. A tremendous victory across the city. Uh, Todd was embraced by the people of San Diego and he is leading with vigor and energy and a progressive outlook. He is an icon and he charts a course for all of the city and for all of us to follow. So I'm delighted to be here and I'm especially delighted to be part of this flag raising ceremony. Happy Pride San Diego today and every day. Thank you. And how can I forget? <laughs> Without further ado, uh, a legend in his own mind, <laughs> Commissioner Nicole. <laughs> Thank you, I think. <laughs> Buenos dias, good morning. This year's theme of San Diego 2021 Pride is resilient. The dictionary definition of resilient is to spring back, rebound, after being beat, compressed, recovering readily from adversary. Indeed, we of the LGBTQ community are resilient. 47 years ago, Vietnam vet Jess Jessup, attorney Tom Holman, and I went down to the police station seeking to get a permit for our first Pride Parade March. We were denied and actually told by a police sergeant at the desk, there will never be a Pride Parade in San Diego. We marched anyway, from a few dozen in 1974 to now over 250,000 resilient. 47 years ago, by a stroke of a pin, by your parents or a judge, homosexuals in California could be and were committed to state hospitals and subjected to electric shock treatment and lobotomies. Homosexuality wasn't legal in California till 1976. 
Now we have PFLAG, LGBTQ judges. We can adopt children in California resilient. 47 years ago, the military police would arrest soldiers in any homosexual establishment. Military homosexual witch hunts were commonplace. Now LGBTQ soldiers serve proudly. A gay man has served as secretary of the army. And NASCO shipyard is building the USNS Harvey Milk. Resilient. 47 years ago, homosexuals in California could not be issued a business license. Now we have two LGBTQ business associations and we contribute millions of dollars to our economy every year. 47 years ago, our LGBT community center was an answering machine and Jess Jeffs' apartments closet. Now our center is one of the oldest and biggest in the nation, resilient. 47 years ago, the San Diego Police Department would raid our gay nightclubs, harassed us, and yes, beat us. Now we have LGBT police officers and our police chief marches in our parades, resilient. And over 47 years ago, the mayor of San Diego refused to meet with us homosexual activists he actually said there was no homosexual constituency in San Diego. And now we remember the first openly gay candidate, Al Best, who ran for public office, who was fired from his job and received countless death threats. Now there are LGBTQ governors, U.S. Senators, our own Tony Atkins is president of the state Senate, and a man whose father was a gardener and his mother was a maid, has been elected San Diego's first mayor of color and member of our community, resilient. But yet, we are still the only Americans not to have full equality. Indeed, we are the last civil rights movement in the 21st century. And as we did in 1974, we will return to our roots in 2021 and not have a parade but a march. I salute San Diego Pride for this important decision. And we are not only be marching against the rise of hate crimes against the LGBTQ community, but against the rise of hate crimes against the Jewish community, the Asian Pacific Islander community, the African American community, the Latino and an undocumented community. We of the LGBT San Diego community have in the last 47 years become an important, visible, and contributing part of this great city and county. And today, this historic flag raising ceremony acknowledges our resilience. Thank you, Mayor, Mayor Gloria, and God bless San Diego. Thank you, Commissioner Nicole Murray Ramirez. Thank you all for being here today. I want to give a shout out. You know, when you offer a politician a mic and they don't take it, that shows you that they're here because they care. They're not here for a photo op. Councilmember Campillo, thank you for being here. I think we all recognize we would not be anywhere without our straight allies. Raul is among one of our best. Thank you, sir, for your service to the community. We thank you, thank you, thank you. I would conclude with a reflection. You know, I think Raul knows there's a lot of LGBTQ people in his district. And the fact is that's because we have grown as a community. But the progress that we've made doesn't mean that we just have to live in Hillcrest, where it's the one safe place in our city, but that you can live in Tirasana, San Carlos, Mission Valley. And you can have a representative who will support you and stand with you in your community and support all of us. That's the work that Nicole, Senator Kehoe, Connor Maddox, Ricky Brown, so many other folks have done over a long period of time. And so this flag raising day is historic, maybe a little bit tardy, probably a reflection of the building that it's on. I know it's not the prettiest, but you know, we're working with what we got. I wanna give a vision of where we're going next. Because as, Cal as Council President Pro Tem Whitburn has said, we have come so far, and it's true. Year after year on the Human Rights Campaign's Equality Index, we constantly score 100% with some extra credit. That's the kind of student I was in school, so it makes me proud as the mayor that we get those extra credit points. But there's still work to be done, as the Council President and others have said. 
And so we have to, now that we have representation, now that we have seats at the table in the mayor's office, in the city council, on boards and commissions, we have to diversify the ranks of the city. We have a number of department directors who are out and proud, and I'm proud of every single one of them. But we need to invite more of our members of our community to come work here at the City of San Diego. And I see a lot of our city employees who are, who are part of, our, of uh, our LGBTQ Employee Association. I thank you all for what you do in making this city work. It would not work without you all. And I look forward to welcoming the next generation of leaders because it started with Al Best, Neil Good, and Chris Kehoe, and Tony Atkins. But it does not end with uh, Stephen Whitburn, Jen Campbell, and Todd Glory. There's a next generation, and I'm looking at a lot of these faces, and I'm very excited about what you all will do. And I will challenge our community to make sure that we continue to stand on the vanguard of equality and of justice in this community. Let us never forget, this was a city uh, whose own congresswoman was the one to start the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Thank you, Congresswoman Susan Davis. We had our four, yeah, give it up for Susan. One of my predecessors, Mayor Jerry Sanders, a Republican mayor of San Diego, a straight ally who stood on these very steps with me not long ago to say that our city will stand up for marriage equality long before it was legal and help to get it done. San Diego has always been on the leading edge and we must continue to do that. And so whether that's in representation in our city ranks, making sure that city contracts go to more LGBTQ owned businesses. We spend hundreds of millions of dollars annually. Every person in this city should be able to participate fully in that. We have to build more structures. I'm looking forward to adding a pride promenade down Normal Street in, North, in, in Hillcrest to go along with the nation's first Harvey Milk Street and our 30 foot tall pride flag to make a public meeting space that will forever and cement the LGBTQ community's heart right in the center of Hillcrest. There is so much more work that we can do as a community and we will do it together, as Nicole said, resilient, recognizing that we have been down in the deepest of valleys but we are making our way up to the highest of mountains. Am I right, Nicole? Yeah. That is right. So thank you all for being here today. This year's Pride will look a bit different, as has been mentioned. We're not out of the pandemic yet, and I don't make any opportunity to tell every San Diegan, get vaccinated. If you are waiting, there's no reason to wait. Let's go. Let's defeat COVID-19. And then let's come back next year and march in the streets as we always do, recognizing that we will, will always and forever be a city where you can be wherever you want to be if you're willing to work hard and contribute to our overall society. Anything is possible in San Diego. Your presence here today, this flag raising today, indicates that. Thank you all for being here. Happy Pride, San Diego.